Well, there's a lot of great things going on the trail right now. A lot of things that are, not a lot of things, but a few things that aren't so great. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to bring it all to you right now. I'm Ram Dino, and I'm here every week to bring you what's going on on the Appalachian Trail and what's going on on the Appalachian Trail through hikers. So I'm all about building the community. I'm all about supporting the through hikers here. Uh, and so this is my community. This is where I'm at home, and so glad you could show up. Uh, one of the things that right up front needs to be said is today's Easter, so happy Easter. He is risen. If you know, you know. If you don't, send me a DM. I'd love to talk to you about it. Let's find out, though, what's going on on the Appalachian Trail and the through hikers out there. So we've got Shadow. He is through the Rhone, one of my favorite places on the entire trail. I love the Rhone Mountain High Highlands. <laughs> However, I don't like it the way that Shadow went through it. So he sends this video in. What's up everybody? Shadow coming at you from Roan Mountain. It's Tuesday the, I don't even know what the date is, 26th, 27th or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is the weather. There's the AT northbound post right there. The fog's actually getting a little heavier, but uh, trail conditions surprisingly aren't too bad yet. So we're going to try to get down off this beast before it gets worse. See ya. Man. That looks like that really sucked. A lot of good views on, on a hike through the Rhone Mountain Highlands like that. Bebop has made it over Sassafras, and Boomerang is around Bland, Virginia, and he has been hanking, hiking around Rainy, Sin City, Trawler, and Tinder. Stick, he is entering the Grayson Highlands in, well into him by now. He sends in this video. Hello, Ramdino. It is Stick the Eagle here. I go by Stick on Trail. And I just left Damascus. Trail conditions out of Damascus are fantastic. Really enjoying the trail, really peaceful out here. I met Master Splinter in Damascus. We both stayed at the same hostel. And I've also been traveling with Nichols, who I know is a, uh, on the support list as well. He's just behind me today. So it's been a great day out here. Really fine, the green tunnel with all these rhododendrons. And uh, thanks for checking in with all of us. Happy trails. Jim Crispin, he rolled into Damascus with Beatbox from Michigan. They've been hiking together since day three. So that's pretty awesome. That's a long time to be hiking together. Uh, they've had the trail named Scat. He's had the trail named Scatmaster since about day six. Now he says he knows all the animal scat on trail. So that sounds like he's pretty much full of animal scat. If he thinks he knows all of it that's on the trail. Maybe he does, I don't know. But he does say that if he doesn't know what it is, he's gonna make it up. So yeah, he's pretty much full of it. Master Splinter, he is through the Grayson Highlands and he and Leo, they are at the, I saw where they were staying at the Long Neck Lair, which is, I don't know what town that is, but it's right there where the Mexican restaurant's in the gas station. That don't sound appetizing uh, because Mexican food's gonna give you gas anyway. So what's the point in going over the gas station side? But I can tell you right now that I have been through there, have eaten there just so I could say I've eaten there, and that is some of the best Mexican food I've ever had. And they load your, they load your plate up, I'm telling you. Hey, Ram Dino, this is Michael with I Suck at Hiking, Master Splinter, AKA Master Splinter. Just wanna give you guys an update. I have just passed over into Virginia. Uh, I got slowed down a little bit by Giardia for a couple days, had to take it off. Um, found out that what it was and got some medication all good now but I'm about to step into Damascus now uh, Tennessee the waterfalls are beautiful the lack of privies were not but back in Virginia got some privies now so we're gonna keep going moving on thank you guys all for the support and we'll see you soon and the reason he got Giardia is because his uh, filter froze and so he couldn't use it uh, and even if your filter does freeze and then it thaws back out you've destroyed the guts of the thing and, and I'm not going to go into how those things are made but you've destroyed it to where it no longer filters out what it's supposed to filter out and so uh, now you're you're getting all those viruses and bacteria and everything else in there and so he got Giardia and of course got really dehydrated when you get Giardia it's going to be coming out both ends uh, so he was probably sickening as, as a dog uh, but his choices were he could either uh, drink the water or be very badly dehydrated 
And so I don't know, I might choose to be dehydrated over that. I'm just not sure if I want to get Giardia, but he, uh, so he drank it and that's what he had to do. But if he hadn't been dehydrated, when you get dehydrated, you're going to use, lose electrolytes. And you know, it kind of made me think, well, when's a good time for an element drink mix? When you're trying to film an update for the Appalachian Trail community. Oh, oh God. Oh. Okay, 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 I love you. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. I got, you're collapsing my chair, Daisy. Okay. When you're trying to teach your doodle dog how to fetch. All right, here we go, Daisy. This is for you. Go to one have it. Fetch it, Daisy. Fetch it. Fetch it. Fetch it. Had a girl. Fetch it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fetch it, Daisy. Fetch it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring it back, Daisy. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Had a girl. Bring it here. Daisy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bring it here. Fetch it. Fetch it. Bring it back, Daisy. Yep. Whether you're dealing with a two-legged person or a four-legged person, it's always a great time for an element drink mix. And for a limited time only, you can go to drinkelement.com slash ramdino. And with any order, you'll get free sample pack that's got all kind of good flavors in it that are just outstanding. You'll love them all. And if you don't love them all, all you got to do is call the company up and they'll give you a free refund. And you can keep the product. It's got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. That's an awesome combination. What does that equal? That equals getting those electrolytes back into you that you're losing. So whether you're out there on the trail, working with your dogs around home, out there on the soccer field, lifting weights, it doesn't matter. It's always a good time for an element drink mix. So go and get you some at drinkelement.com slash ramdino. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash ramdino. Go get you some. So imagine if Master Splinter had had him some element drink mix out there. He would have got over that dehydration and that loss of electrolyte so much quicker. So anyway, I don't know if he had it or not. Wish he had a, probably need to send him some. But let's go ahead and talk back other through hikers what's going on out there on the trail with them. So Hermit has made it to North Carolina. He sends in this video. Hey, Ram Dino. It's Mad Hermit here. 11.30 on Wednesday the 27th, and I've made it to the North Carolina-Georgia border. And uh, by the time you put the video together, I should be at the knock or beyond. Hey, thanks again for all you do. Patches and Silent Bob, they have made it to Hot Springs and heading to uh, Irwin. And what was really cool about it was that I actually got to meet them on trail while I was out there searching for Sadie. So that was awesome uh, to run into some folks. Uh, I ran into several people out there uh, that uh, I knew um, or, or that knew me, and so that was really awesome. So um, I'm used to getting your 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 updates in. So if I left you off this time, I'm sorry uh, I, that I didn't get you updates as I script this out. It was actually uh, most of it was already scripted before I got out there and looked for Sadie. So, but anyway, please do send me your updates uh, for the coming week. Uh, Tango Mike, he is made to Fontana, and he is entering the Smokies. Probably already through the Smokies. He's hoping to make it to Newfound Gap by Monday, and then he's going to be taking a zero there in Gatlinburg, uh, and then he is going to continue his mission. Fireflow, she has made it to Waynesburg, Virginia. She's looking a whole lot better now. She doesn't have uh, that issue she had with the bed bugs that she got there uh, previously. Uh, she's hiking with Fortune Skittles, Slim Ninja, and they are coming into the Shenandoah Park. Uh, they're averaging somewhere around 22 miles a day. Had a beautiful sunset over Humback Mountain that she sends us in. So that's great. Fireflow, glad to see you have recovered from those bed bug allergies that you got. Gary and Mashal Apple Trail, they're trail angels, and they reported that they had a huge bubble passing through them there at Spivey Gap uh, a couple days ago. So they had, and, and I mentioned these folks so that because other through hikers follow the channel, and so they can keep up with their folks that they through hiked with before folks that they may know, people that may be in front of them. So we got lat, what came through there, trail uh, magic site was Last Call, Alex from England, St. John, Honey Stick, Little Neil, Professor, Free Agent, Happy MacGyver, Sweaty Betty. <laughs> That's a good one. 
Hot Springs, Old Man, Ruck, Sun Up, who Sun Up is on the third leg of her Triple Crown, Sea Seeker, Maria from Germany, Taxi, Corey, who's a fellow Marine, of a fellow Marine of uh, of Gary, not of me, because I'm not a Marine. I was I was in the Army. Uh, Scarface, Fierce and Feather, Firecracker, Cowbell, Zach, and his badass mom, Bam. So those are folks that came through there through Gary and uh, Michelle Apple's Trail Magic site. So appreciate you guys sending that in. Uh, the hiker, previously known as Tara, uh, went on a sunrise hike up to Klingman's Dome. Unfortunately, it did not work out for her and Camelback and Re Relentless the way uh, that they wanted it to. Uh, so they hoofed it over to Icewater Springs Shelter and soaked wet and cold for the night. So she sends in this video. To do a sunrise hike to clean the stone. It is a bit hairy out here this morning. There was lots of hikers taking refuge there in the shelter, some temporarily, uh, because the access road into Gatlinburg was closed. And then also the uh, restrooms that, that I thought would stayed open all year, the restrooms were closed or locked, and they were locked up. So there at um, uh, at the Gap or Newfound, uh, yeah, Newfound Gap. So they couldn't stay there. Uh, so that was not good. I actually had met or came across Relentless and Camelback. While I was out uh, looking for Sadie, uh, I parked at uh, Lemon Gap and there was Trail Magic there. Uh, Trail Magic that was from Dreamcatcher, Tortuga, Mudbag, and one or two others. I didn't catch their names, but they were through hikers last year and they were giving back by coming out and doing uh, Trail Magic. And uh, one of the guys there had come all the way from Pennsylvania. It's like a 10 hour ride to come down and do Trail Magic there at Lemon Gap. So that is awesome guys. Appreciate what you're doing. Appreciate all, all you trail angels out there. Uh, and just thanks a lot uh, for folks that, like you that come out and, and give back to the hiker community. Nichols, he is over the 500 mile mark and in Grayson Highlands. Chuck Isle and Bluegrass, they have made it to Irwin, Tennessee. They say the bears are active. They saw one about a quarter mile from No Business Knob Shelter. Uh, we'll talk about the bears here in just a minute. Sasquatch Jim, he has made it past Beauty Spot. Cadillac is through the smokes and sends in this video of an image from the high winds. Look at it. You get it right there. Yeah. The trail. This tree fell. Got pushed over. And this is part of the trail now. I mean, the whole trail has been completely uprooted there. So uh, that doesn't surprise me, but you know, cause oftentimes you see trees that are uprooted like that, but you don't ever typically see it actually happening. So that's amazing. Uh, the hiker previously known as Pramu is in Hawassi via Unicoi Gap and they're taking a zero to let their knees rest. And they have a trail name now of Bayou. Sparrow and Micah, they're in the Smokies. They say they have met some really nice people and really enjoying the trail. Smoke Dancers made it through the Smokies and into Hutch, uh, Hot Springs and is heading on towards Irwin. Tick Magnet, Loud Chaser, Pam Wyatt, Diane Ritter, they decide to turn their Nobo into a flip flop. Uh, and so they hike southbound from Hot Springs to Davenport Gap in order to avoid a really bad storm coming through the Smokies there. And in the process, while they were doing that, they were out there looking for Sadie as well and using their uh, tracker detect uh, app to try to detect her uh, app or, or her Apple tag. And so thanks a lot for doing that, guys. Uh, they're going to go back and get the Smokies later. Uh, 007, he is north of Deep Gap. Uh, his hiking buddy, Odie, got off trail. Um, and so uh, he just decided that uh, he had some back issues and just wasn't going to be able to handle that. So now 007 is hiking solo, but he says he's never alone on the trail. And that is true. You're never really out there unless you're in a different seat, really, really 
wintry season, you're not typically alone out there on the trail. Triple one, he has made it to Damascus. Here comes Daisy and Grayson Highland. And he got a special treat there uh, from Fresh Grounds. Cog, he's made it through the Smokies. And Tender and his wife, formerly known as Low Gear, they are new hikers to the channel and they have made it at past mile marker 350. Uh, and uh, she's previously known as, uh, as, as Low Gear, but she's got a true name or, or a new trail name, Scarface. <laughs> and that's because of a nasty fall that she took avoiding a blowdown just before she came into the knock. So she fell down hit her head on this giant freaking rock. Uh, apparently they did not take the leave no trace uh, class down at Amicola Falls State Park because there's a huge blood smear all over that rock, but, uh, and there's really nothing funny about that. Uh, so don't mean to make light of you, Scarface. Thanks a lot for checking in, uh, but Scarface, they, they did the right thing. She is a emergency room tech, uh, or emergency room nurse, and so she knew how to handle it. And they put some butterflies on it till they got to the knock, and then they went to the hospital to uh, get, to get some uh, uh, get some stitches, and then also get uh, concussion protocol. Have to go through that process just to make sure there wasn't any kind of issues, because um, she she literally split it down to the skull. So watch out for big giant rocks. A root could do that as well, anyway. So be careful out there, folks. Uh, but she is one tough lady for continuing on even with that. So she is dedicated to her hike. So we've got some folks that are off trail out there. Of course, we just mentioned Odie, and that's not the Odie who used to ride around in the uh, short bus uh, and had the, uh, the hiker yearbook. It's a different Odie. Uh, but we got Boo Ron Buttercup. They are off due to a family emergency. So they had to walk out of the Smokies. I mentioned before it was closed. It was closed due to blowdowns, and that's what happens in the Smokies a lot of the time. You know, in the winter, it closes due to ice and snow, and in the summer, spring, fall, it'll close due to blowdowns that come across the road, and so they have to clear it. So that's what happened here. So they had to walk. I think that's like 18 miles they have to walk to get out, but they had the family emergency, so they had to make it happen. Mountaineer, he is almost to the Virginia Triple Crown, and he had to take a couple zeros at home to sort out some pain, go see the doctor. Uh, and adjust some of his gear. Oz, a hiking sailor, he has made it to Hot Springs, but he has had to go back to Canada. Uh, so his parents passed away, uh, I believe it was in August and September uh, of last year, and so he's been dealing with that. And of course, as, as a lot of us do, the trail's our happy place, that's where we go to deal with stuff. Uh, but he did have to come back and do the probate on uh, his parents' estate, and so he's having to deal with that and he's hoping that he may return as a flip-flopper. So we've had somewhere around 1,700 hikers that have checked in at uh, Amicola Falls State Park, at, but the bubble has left. So when I say the bubble has left, I mean the largest confluence of hikers have already left, and from here on out, uh, particularly April 1st, which is tomorrow, uh, then it will take a deciding dip of less and less hikers will be out there on the trail. Uh, we do have some registrations, additional registrations from last week. So Nobo, we're up 207 so, uh, from, from last week. And uh, we're up around 3,343 Nobo that are registered, but we've only got 1,700 that have left and it's going down from here. So I don't know if all those that are registered are actually gonna wind up getting on trail. Typically it doesn't. And if you're not gonna get on trail, you need to go and cancel that registration because that's bad data for the ATC. They use that uh, data in the National Park Service. A lot of agencies use, use that data for funding along the trail and just data in general. And so um, if you're gonna get off trail, if, you, if you've registered and you're not uh, going to be doing a through hike, then by all means, or Nobo, it will either one, Nobo, Sobo, or uh, flip flop, then please go and cancel that registration. But right now we're up 207 Nobo, we're up 16 flip floppers to 163, and we're up five Sobo to 100 uh, even on the Sobo. So that brings us up 228 hikers over last year or over last week to 3,606 that are registered for a through hike this year. We're also at 24 days that have been maxed out on the trail starting from Springer. So 
maxed out means more than 50 hikers starting per day. So even when they hit the 50 hikers, they're still going to register. You're still going to hike, still going to get a tag, still going to get the hike. Uh, but that's just where they put the ATC puts the carrying capacity of the trail at 50 hikers. And so, uh, and what's interesting about that, we're at 24 here in 2024, but in 2023, last year, we were only had six days at this time that it was maxed out. And then in 2022, which was a huge year for the AT, uh, we were at 23, so we're actually above that, um, but it looks like our actual population uh, is down somewhat. So that's pretty interesting that we're, looks like the bubble's moving backwards uh, but it's starting to get a little more compact is what it's looking like. So we'll see if we see some type of surge here uh, at the very end of Nobo season, which is kind of where we're kind of petering off coming into the end of Nobo season. Uh, folks on my support list uh, that are leaving next week, that's Late Start, Hobear, Bullfrog, Jeff McCartney, Coyote, Slide Rule, Thumper, Easy Does It, Forklift, Stephen Roll, Shortcut, Viking, Longwood and Gideon Smith. So all those folks are from my support list and they're leaving next week. If you want to be on the support list and that's just nothing more than a list with people that's got social media out there or people that will be updating me and it's a place where the hiker community can go and find your social media and follow you throughout the course of your trip and give you comments and out of boys, out of girls, out of days, whatever, uh, all the way up and down the trail as you uh, continue your hike just to keep you spurred on. But sometimes you just need a little spurring on uh, to get through that day when you're just cold and wet. Uh, so uh, if you want to be on that list, down below is a link to that list. And if you want to get a copy of that list to see who to follow, a link to that is down below as well. So speaking of support, uh, I want to thank the folks out there that support me. Uh, just your your subscriptions, your thumbs up, your comments, all those support me. I also like to thank a couple of folks that supported me through Super Thanks. Uh, and that is Two Sisters Hike, Carol and Benson. Thanks a lot for those folks that uh, that supported this this channel in a in a tangible way uh, through Super Thanks. Greatly appreciate that. And all my Patreon uh, supporters out there, thank you very much for that. And a special thank you for to Michelle Hill for contributing to the search for Sadie. So she Venmoed me uh, some money uh, as we were searching for Sadie. So thanks a lot for that. All of that went to Sadie's mom, uh, Bright Eyes. So thank you very much for doing that, Michelle. Uh, and I uh, just greatly appreciate that. Um, and we'll talk a little more about that here in just a minute. So some, some, some trail conditions out there, section hiker, monarch, and I don't really talk about section hikers a lot, but I encourage section hikers to report in what the trail conditions are out there because that helps through hikers coming through. She just finished uh, hiking from Damascus to Mount Rogers, and she said the trail is in uh, good condition through there, just a few minor blowdowns. Uh, she did say because of the rain it had that the water sources are good. Uh, doesn't seem that the norovirus has got as far as Damascus uh, and is not in that, in, in that area yet, but of course we hadn't got the bigger part of the bubble there yet. Really, the bigger part of the bubble right now is coming into the Smokies or in the Smokies, uh, which means that that is typically where the norovirus hits coming out of the Smokies. It's already hit pretty hard down in Georgia. Uh, and we'll talk a little more about that in just a minute about some news, more news about the norovirus. Uh, but in any case, uh, right now the bubble, like I said, is in the Smokies. And so coming out of it, we'll see if it gets into hot springs and how long it stays out of there. and and when it actually hits there. She did say she ran into a good number of hikers uh, that start in February. Uh, so that's Cujo, GTN, Hard Left, Cloud Kicker, and one of the three sticks she, she had. So that might be sticks, um, and she's in the Grayson Highlands, so that might be the sticks there. Uh, Grayson Highlands and Mount Rogers are the same area. Uh, it might be the sticks that actually reports in, in the, into us. Monarch also said that the shelters and privies are looking pretty good up there in the Grayson Highlands, Mount Rogers area. So the bears are out. So the ATC does not have some specific locations that I could find on their website for current bear sightings or current bear issues, but I have been getting reports from hikers out there. Uh, so I've gotten reports of bears close to camp and taking food uh, out of uh, bags, whether they were hung PCT method or not. Uh, 
hiker sent in a picture of a earth sack that had been defeated. So the earth sacks, I have seen more earth sacks torn up than I have not. So if you have an earth sack, I know you bought it because you thought it was bare, indestructible. It's not. Uh, so you need to hang it high in a tree just like a, weather, uh, a regular bear bag. And so the weight that you're paying for that earth sack um, that you're hiking up down, you could just get a lightweight uh, bear bag from you know, somewhere else that you're going to hang in the tree. So uh, those things are just not working. Obviously, I don't. The uh, earth sacks never sponsored me. Never had an earth sack. Uh, but in any case, uh, you're either going to need to use a bear vault, which bears have tried to get into vaults this year, as they do every year, without. But they did it without success so far this year. Uh, or you're going to need to get something to hang, uh, hang high in a tree. And even then, you're not guaranteed. So you might want to do something as far as keeping some type of bar that doesn't smell somewhere to get you into town, something like that. But the bears are out. I have had reports from Standing Indian Shelter, Davenport Gap, and the Smokies, which normally gets closed, and No Business Knob Shelter in Tennessee. Um, so those are the ones so far. If they're in those shelters, then they are, you know, at least up into Southern Virginia by now. So all the way from Georgia into Southern Virginia. So they're out there. Just keep that in mind as you're going, uh, as you're, whatever you're doing with your food. Uh, Norovirus update. So we have had some sick, uh, sick folks coming out of the Smokies. Uh, the uh, Colors, who's a shuttle driver down in Asheville, uh, he uh, indicated to me that he had had somebody that came in and he gave a shuttle ride and the guy was very, very ill and he wound up taking him to the ER uh, because he was so sick. So he had the symptoms of norovirus. And the National Park Service has also updated their GI illness alert, is what they call the norovirus, uh, to a norovirus alert and expanded the alert areas along the Appalachian Trail in Georgia, North Carolina, and Tennessee. So it's just a matter of time before it gets into Virginia. Uh, so they've updated that and that's been here recently. And this graphic pretty much shows you how, what you can carry with you to kill the norm. You just hit the camera. Daisy, what is wrong with you? It pretty much shows you what you can take uh, or what you need to kill the norovirus and a typical water purifier does not do that. I mean, I'm sorry, a water filter like a Sawyer does not do that. Uh, but there's lots of stuff you can take, uh, iodine, chlorine tablets, um, a water purifier, and I don't know exactly the difference between a purifier on trail and a, uh, and a filter. I'll do some research. So if somebody knows, leave a comment down below the difference between them. Obviously, a purifier screens out norovirus, but, but what's different about it? Um, and, then, uh, and then there's other things that, that you can do out there, like boiling your water. I mean, you know, a lot of people cold soak, so they're not even taking a stove. But if you don't, you're going to be boiling your water for most of what you're possibly eating if you're eating any kind of dehydrated food. Uh, so you've got that there. You know, you could boil the water if you don't have any other way. But whatever you do, uh, make sure that as a minimum you're filtering just to keep out the giardia. But the filtering it is not going to prevent norovirus. And, of course, norovirus is spread fecally from person to person. So don't be sharing your food bags. Don't be rubbing all over or even touching anything around the shelter, including the picnic table. And just constantly wash your hands uh, to, to avoid any type of where you may have got contamination from somebody else. Don't share your food bags with other people. Uh, so whatever you do, you do not want the norovirus. Uh, we also have a fire that's burning close to Camp Creek Ball near the Appalachian Trail. That's at mile around mile 296, so I'd say mile 300. So if you got smoke in the area, something like that, the trail's not closed through there, uh, but that could be what it is, and it may spread over into that area and get closed, so just be on the lookout for that. So the last couple days, I was looking for Sadie up in the Match Packs, Lemon Gap, Garen Flow area, Brown Gap area. Uh, Sadie, as of now, today, Sunday, had not been found, um, and uh, it's just a huge tragedy. So Sadie's a lost hiker dog. Don't need any of your comments about she should have been on a leash, she should have been trained. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I guess the last video where I mentioned about Sadie, had some, I mean, if you got nothing good to contribute to it, I don't, there's no point in, in 
posting stuff about, oh, she should have been on a leash, oh, and, and what a horrible person to bring some, a dog like that out into the woods. The dog's got 8,000 miles on her. The dog is well trained. You don't ever know what a dog's going to do. Yes, dogs are supposed to be on a leash, but the, the lambasting and stuff that, that a minor amount of people have done um, is, is really, if you got nothing better to do, if you got nothing to contribute to this community, go join another community. All you folks out there that have sent in your love and your prayers and your good thoughts and your good energy, thank you so much for that. Keep that up. Uh, Bright Eyes needs that right now. Uh, you know, spoke to Bright Eyes uh, quite a bit while I was up there. So, And Sadie needs that. So if, if you have some time and you can go up to that area, uh, the number here is on this where the picture of Sadie where you can contact them. And I'll also leave another number down here that you can contact them. So send them a text, let them know you're coming. Uh, they have a chat set aside uh, where they can, you can join the chat and they can, uh, if you're gonna be a part of that ground search. Uh, so anything you can do, uh, I know people are a long ways away and they can't come up there. A lot of people wish they could, but, uh, but at, least, at least pray for them, send your good thoughts, things like that. Um, hopefully they'll find Sadie. You know, as my mama said, if you got nothing good to say, then don't say anything. Um, so uh, I would appreciate that. But thank you, thank you, thank you for all the people that have sent all your well wishes and, and prayers. And, uh, and that's just been, that's been awesome. And, and it's, it's a testament to what an awesome community we have. Sure, every community's got a few folks in there uh, that are rear ends, but you know, occasionally that's gonna happen. And I don't count those kind of people as, as part of this community. Uh, this is one of the greatest communities I've ever been a part with. And we always seem to support each other. And these keyboard warriors that can't support a, a person in the hiker community that was going on a triple crown it was the last 200 miles of her triple crown with a dog that's hiked all of that with her and they've hiked over 8,000 miles together uh, and all you got is junk to talk to somebody see ya go somewhere else but keep up for your prayers thanks a lot folks I plan to get back on trail uh, in mid Virginia so I am Somewhere just uh, barely trail south of the uh, James River. So I'm getting ready to cross over that. So that's where I'm going to be doing a 35, 40 miler up there. Uh, so if, if you're in that area, you want to come hike with me, man. Love for you to come out. Love to meet you. Love for you to hike with me. Uh, what have you. Uh, going to need a trail uh, shuttle up there. So if somebody's got some good suggestions, I'd love to have those suggestions as well. Uh, but I plan to get out within the next two weeks. Uh, and do a long weekend. So looking really, really forward to that. Uh, folks, there's two things I'm going to leave you with. One I always leave you with, and the other, this special time of the year is spring. It's Easter. Once again, he is risen. Appreciate you, and we'll see you out there.